Coulter, I was in Bozeman for the Bobcat game a couple of weeks ago, and while I was there, I went over to the corner of Jackrabbit and Baxter and headed into the brand new Cathedral of Guns, Selway Armory. It was absolutely phenomenal. Their new store in Bozeman is everything you want and more, including a Sig Sauer store right in the Selway Armory store. Got a, some confusion from a couple people that listen to this podcast. They said, what is Sig Sauer? <laughs> and they spelled it like cigarette. <laughs> but no, we're talking Sig Sauer like S-I-G-S-A-E-U-R. Some of the best handguns you'll find anywhere. They're experts when it comes to Sig Sauer's, as well as all other handguns, as well as all other firearms. Locations of both Missoula and Bozeman. But get your butt to that new Bozeman store. It's a beautiful store, unbelievable inventory, and those guys are experts. They'll help you find whatever it is you need. Hunting season, recreation, we all have people on our Christmas list, or maybe it's you yourself. Yes, I must say, once in a while it's nice to get your own self a present. You go in there, all of the guns, ammunition, accessories that you could imagine in culture, as you mentioned absolute experts they know everything there is to know about the entire inventory they've got online selwayarmory.com montana is a gun enthusiast state it's a hunting state and selway armory is montana's firearm superstore take the selway armory challenge shop with selway armory for a year guarantee you're going to save money over the big box stores or anywhere else you might shop do yourself a favor no matter where you're from in montana if you're making your way through southwest montana go see that new selway armory and if you're in missoula go check out their location out Stockyard Road. So, Army, great products at a great price, along with world class customer service. All right, we ready to go? Okay. Um, I want to start off by, uh, by recognizing you, Albany, uh, and uh, congratulating them on a great season. I, I really believe it was a worthy opponent. Uh, CAA is an outstanding league, and, uh, you know, our kids played well today. And it takes nothing away from the season that those guys had. I uh, really appreciated getting an opportunity to meet Co- Coach Gattuso. He's a class guy. And uh, I know those guys have a bright future in front of them. Uh, with that being said, uh, really, really proud of the way our team played together as a team today. There's no doubt that uh, it was a complete victory in all three phases. Uh, you know, I think the punt return yardage was huge for us in the first half, set us up on some short fields. We got the takeaways that we wanted to on defense. And we executed and operated on the offensive side with some explosive plays. and. I think Tucker played a tremendous game today, 24 or 30, almost 280 yards, three touchdowns, and gave our receivers chances down the field, 2-7. He's been owing me those interceptions for about four years now, so it's about time I got paid back. And uh, Amandre and our D front doing a tremendous job up front. So with that being said, I'm I'm happy to answer any questions. Talk about all three phases. Special teams were were huge for you. Uh, Just walk us through how you you guys played in that phase kind of told these guys last night that was going to be our edge today. I just really believe that uh, while that, while Albany has some tremendous speed at certain skill positions, I felt like our team speed was better overall and that that shows up, generally speaking, in the kicking game the most. And Isaiah being able to block a punt. Um, I guess nobody is immune to, to playing special teams, but, but how good was it to see Isaiah get his hand in there and knock that down? Well, he's trouble for us. He, I mean, this is how unselfish our team is. Every day or every week when we go when we practice our punt, he jumps out on the on the scout pump block unit and works our guys over. And I'm finally like, why don't we just put him out there for crying out loud, you know? So we can't block him. And, and certainly he was able to have an impact on the game in that area. And, um, you know, obviously you got to watch the film, but I think it was just a guy, you know, guys operating, doing what we talked about, communicate, operate, tackle, um, do the little things that win big games. And that's what we did today. Uh, spark Koi steal today. You know, Koi's a fearless guy, and uh, oftentimes, especially at the FCS level, a lot of the punters will kick high, short balls. They don't give you a lot of return opportunities, and when you look at things statistically, that happens a lot. One of the things that happens with an East Coast team, especially one that's coming, or it's any team really that's coming, you know, from near sea level to altitude, the ball's going to carry further, and he, um, their, their punter was, was kicking well, well beyond his normal average, and I think that sometimes outkicked the coverage and created some seams. But Koiza, like I said, he's a fearless guy. Uh, he's got that the right mentality for a punt returner for sure. What do you think went right for Tucker in the, the passing game today? I think we gave him opportunities, and he took advantage of them. This is you know the guy that we see every day in practice, and you know our coaching staff and our team has a tremendous amount of confidence in Tucker, and we knew we were going to need him. And when you play one of the 16 best teams in the country, you're going to need your best, and and uh, Tucker had his best today. And, uh, I'm hoping there's a little more left in the tank, right, Tuck? Yeah. With, with the defense and special teams playing as well as did, why do you believe that that style works at this time of year? 
you know, I think that's playoff football. You got to be a complete team if you're gonna if you're gonna be one of the better teams in the country. And uh, we spend a lot of time on fundamentals. We spend a lot of time on special teams. And uh, usually, where it starts to pay off isn't early in the season. It's late in the season when those guys have those bank reps, and uh, you don't get away from the things that win football games, which are the fundamentals. You've scored a lot of points in the last five games. What's the progression been like offensively in general, and with Tucker in particular? You know, we kind of had that moment after the North Dakota game where we really had to. Uh, kind of examine what we were doing. We felt like we'd become predictable. Um, we're a little bit too easy to defend and challenge the offensive staff to become more creative. And, um, you know, I think that's really, in a weird way, that loss, which, you know, in hindsight cost us a a, a, at least a share of the Big Sky Championship, has kind of pushed us forward as a team and made us better. And sometimes you have to have those. You know, you turn a setback into a comeback, and I really think that's what we did. How impactful do you think the, the pressure on uh, their quarterback was? That's what it's all about. You got to affect the QB, and I think not only that, but our disguise in the back end and uh, our DBs played very, very well. I mean, even the plays that, that Green made down the field, they were contested plays, and he's a tremendous receiver, and he went up and made some. But it wasn't like they were blown coverages, and uh, they're certainly going to get their share of plays because they're a good football team. But I thought our secondary did a great job of disguising, uh, and when he did hold the ball, when he wasn't quite sure where to go with, with it, he didn't have enough time to escape, and our guys up front got the job done. How about Lance McCutcheon's ability to, to go up and make some big plays? <laughs> Greg, I, I said it on the field. I, I mean, that's one guy that, I, I mean, you're clearly happy for the entire team, but Lance has that capability. And uh, for him to go out and do it on a big stage, I was just really happy for him and really proud of him and really proud of the way Tucker gave him chances to go make plays. Good? Yeah. All right, guys. Congrats. Tucker, uh, what do you think of your just your receivers today? You know, Lance and Kevin. You know, giving you a target, a big target. To yeah, do. absolutely. Um, it's very nice when. I mean, some of the balls uh, were not the best balls by me, and it's very nice when you can throw a 50-50 ball and guarantee that it's either going to be caught or an incomplete pass. What do you think of Lance's the, the one-handed grab? That, that was pretty cool. awesome. Um, yeah, just that Lance is a great guy. Um, hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities this year, and he sees those opportunities today. So I'm really proud of him. This offense is obviously built on, around the running game, but how fun is it for you to be able to go out there and throw it around 30 times and, and really make some big plays? It, it's do? definitely fun. I mean, it's nice having the RPO game where we have the option to run the ball and also dish it out, um, throw a key or a bubble or whatever that may be. And yeah, it's nice. I think that even opens up the run game when you guys can pass efficiently. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Coach Miller's probably going to critique me on what we say with it. Uh, he always talks about creating um, horizontal stretches to create vertical seams, and that's um, what that managing the perimeter and throwing those keys and bobs do, uh, do. Tucker, can you talk about your progression over the season? And as I said earlier, you guys have been scoring a lot of points lately, but how you feel out there now versus, say, two months ago? Uh, comfortable and confident. I mean, as the season goes, I feel like I um, gained more and more confidence, and that's helped me. And that's all thanks to the guys constantly believing me as well as the coaches. I think after the UND game, you said you, had, you personally had a lot to improve on. Mm -hmm. What are some of those things specifically that you felt like are better now? Um, I would say uh, giving receivers more of a chance um, when it comes to uh, fades or posts or whatever that may be. Um, and just taking every single play and just focusing on that play alone, and then when the next play comes, just focus on that play. Having a defense that can get you the ball back at a moment's notice, I mean, how does, how does that make you feel as an, a whole offense? Um, amazing. It's really nice, to, um, this whole entire stretch since the North Dakota game, that the huge thing has been the field possession um, thing, and it's nice starting the ball on the plus 50. That's for sure. All right, thanks, Tucker. Thank you. Thanks. Let's go with questions from Andre. Andre, you guys were able to get pressure on quarterback uh, in without even blitzing sometimes. Just how important do you think that was? I mean, I know it makes it real fun when we got guys I can cover in the back end like our DBs did today, um, give us opportunities to get home up front. So, I mean, I said it every week, um, our defensive line, everybody can make plays. And, I mean, we, we did that today, and, and we, we definitely showed what we could do. Talked about taking a business-like approach throughout the entire season. How much did today feel like a, a business-like game? Um, I mean, we try to treat every game the same, for sure. But yeah, I mean, it was just the whole focus this week was just execution. Um, just come in and do our job. We know how we can play when we do that, and we did that. And we're just going to try to continue to improve and continue to do that going forward. 
they hit the deep ball early to take the lead. So how um, were you guys able to just kind of shake that off and, mm -hmm. and keep going? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the guys just were resilient when it came to that and fought through adversity and we just bounced right back. I mean, we knew they were they were a good football team. We knew they were going to make some plays and it was just about coming back and just getting right back on the field and making our plays. When the offense is clicking and, you know, Tucker's playing as he is, mm -hmm. does that almost kind of lift you guys as you, you know, take the field on defense? Definitely. I mean, it, it gives everybody energy, especially when our offense is playing really well like they did today. And we just continue to feed off of each other's energy and just continue to play off of each other. And it's definitely a fun thing. How, how much do you feel like the passers being able to get to them just kind of altered their offense? Yeah, you know? I mean, when you force a team in a drop back pass, I mean, it's always fun as a defensive line. And when we can get home, I mean, that makes it fun for the guys on the back end too. And uh, it, it was big. It was big when we were able to make plays. And you could definitely see it on their faces. It was, it was difficult for them. But, you know, I mean, it, it's big time when we can do that. All right, thanks, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Questions for David? On the uh, interception you had, um, close, close to the end zone, um, mm -hmm. just kind of what did you see on that play? Um, they like to run their RPO slants, so I was just sitting on it. I mean, if you were to run a slow go, it, it probably would have been a touchdown on their end, so. I just jumped this land. Has Coach been kind of imploring you to, you know, make make a few more plays like that? Yeah, he's you know that's been my thing for the you know past four years here. You know, finishing plays, I'm always in good position. It's just you know going out there and doing you know what's you know putting the cherry on top. Go go get a pick instead of PBUs and things like that. What do you think of their receivers playing against them? Obviously, they've got a few really good weapons. Um, yeah, um, their receivers, they're, they're, they're really good. They're a really good group of receivers, number four, especially he um, high points the ball very very well, as you guys seen in that game. And um, he knows how to get open. And yeah, he's one of you know the better receivers that we've seen. You've been here for four years. You've seen the, you know, the progression of this program. So what does it mean now to be you know, going to the quarterfinals and yeah. and still playing. Um, I think it's really great for, for this team because, you know, four years ago we were like four and six and, you know, we weren't that good of a football team and now we're kind of trying to set the standard of, you know, every year's playoff football is, you know, that's the new standard for the Bobcat football and, and we owe it to the fans. So that's kind of the goal. Anything more? Selway Armory, Montana's firearm superstore, is now open for business and hiring all positions. If you want an exciting job with great compensation and one where you can become an expert in the field, put your application in now at Selway Armory. You can apply in person at their new location at the corner of Jackrabbit and Baxter or send in your application via email to employment at selwayarmory.com. That's employment at selwayarmory.com. Turn your passion into a profession with Selway Armory, Montana's firearm superstore.